If you're new to the project, a big warm welcome. If you're a tough old root, then welcome back. Today is about the humble cold frame. You're watching Steep in the Woods. I'm Josh. I'm Celia. And this is our daughter, Ivy. Here at Steep in the Woods, we are 100% off grid. We live on a 14 acre mountain top homestead nestled deep in the Appalachian Mountains of North Carolina. Here on Steep in the Woods, we do totally off grid on a shoestring budget. You'll see no fancy stuff here. It's just making do with what you have and what you can figure out. So a cold frame really is a really simple, really easy tool for yourself and your garden. It will not only allow you to get a jump on your spring uh, planting, but it'll also allow you to retain some amount of your garden, those things that are more cold hardy, deep into winter. So the most important thing with a cold frame is positioning. You want it on a southern facing hill with plenty of sun. Uh, uh, I prefer to do mine on a hill because it helps with uh, drainage and it gives, you, it gives you that pitch to collect as much of that sun as possible without building up the back side of it. The first thing that I'm going to take and do is I just got a couple sticks here. I'm going to lay my window down and I'm just going to pin the four corners to give me a rough idea of how big of a hole to dig. Now that you got your sticks in uh, place, go ahead and remove your window. I think the most difficult thing about this is retaining your, your window and not breaking it. Glass, obviously, is breakable. And, uh, and when you're fooling around with rocks and uh, shovels, things of that nature, you want to be sure to move it out of the working zone when you're not actively using it. So take him, try to go put him somewhere safe. So I've got my four sticks here uh, showing me where to dig. I guarantee you we're going to run into all sorts of roots here, but it really is just the, the best spot of unclaimed steep in the wood soil here. Uh, so we'll just do our best to try to make, uh, uh, try to make it still doable and, uh, and get some uh, use out of it. What you're going for is flatness. You want to dig down in your hill, but you also want to flat surface for your seedlings. It doesn't have to be perfectly flat. You don't need to break out a uh, level, but you do want them uh, uh, to stand up easily in their upright position of your pots. So, judging by your uh, sticks, just gonna start, start digging. You don't have to go crazy with your uh, digging. The objective is to have your window fit flush on the uh, on the dirt, your regular hill here with a cavity behind it. So you're doing it flat so there's no wind scrub or at least as little as possible and you're digging down to capture some of that thermal heat that the earth naturally generates as well as store the solar energy in that same dirt. So it's kind of like a nighttime battery. You know, it's like a solar solar system here. Um, collects it during the, the, the day and retains it at night so that it never actually gets all that cold. I 
All right, so that's pretty much it. You know, you just dig in a hole on a southern facing hill, slightly smaller than whatever window you happen to have on hand for this project. Now that the hole's dug, test fit our little window here. And that looks pretty good. There's a little bit of a gap here, which I'm not, uh, I'm not crazy about. But otherwise, I mean, that's your, that, that's, that's your general cold frame right here. This is it. Uh, you're basically done. I'm going to do a little bit more to mine just because I want to help ensure that it will work really well for us here. Uh, but anyway, that is, I mean, that is the basic. That's the basic deal there. So the other thing I'm going to do with mine, just because I have access to it, and it you know, uh, and it's not going to cost me nothing. Well, line it. You'll make sure that these are lower than your walls. But I'm just going to line mine with some dang block here. Let's see. Like that. Yeah. Nothing major. Doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, but just a little bit. Think of it kind of like a battery. Um, you know, the sun... You can store heat energy in 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 anything. Uh, the the heavier, more dense, and uh, uh, the more you know susceptible to heat is your better choice. So like these uh, these pieces of con concrete block here will serve our purpose perfect. They're heavy. They're rock, which is a really good storage medium. Um, and hey, they were free, and I already got them. Uh, uh, you know you. I'm not going to toss them, so i got to find some, some ways to use them. And this is how that use is going to be accomplished. So I'm not going for anything beautiful. I'm just, uh, I'm just going for just a little more thermal mass to it. Um, and another thing that I, another problem I've ran into with cold frames in the past is that they will be too moist. If you're going through a, 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 a real dense rainy spell, um, they just turn into like a little mud, mud hole here. So the block also accomplishes a second goal or a second task for me. It's keeping the pots up off of what will become muddy dirt. It's time for me to hand you over to Celia so that y'all can get some stuff planted and put in the cold frame. We are now able to garden right this second, even with it not being spring yet. So, hey, boys, let's put some stuff in the ground. I mean, quick. To start off, I'm going to start mixing up some nutrient-rich soil. One of our seeds actually prefers a poorer soil, so that I will just put topsoil. The other one is going to be a mixture of mushroom compost, topsoil, and organic Job's fertilizer. So these are some biodegradable seed trays that I got off of Amazon. It looks like this cold frame is going to fit about eight of these trays, which is awesome. These four trays right here, I'm going to fill with the more nutrient-rich soil, 
And then the other four trays, which I have right here, I'll fill with just the topsoil. In these four trays right here, I'm going to be planting Nasturium. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it is an edible flower that is a good companion plant, and I'm hoping to make some hanging baskets out of them. In the nutrient-rich soil right here is going to be lavender and native mountain mint. This soil for the just the topsoil I actually just dug up out of our mountain woods. It's a mixture of some darker and more clay soil. From what I read, it's supposed to be easy to grow, and the worse the soil is, the better it does. So I'm thinking this is the best combination. Now I'm going to do the lavender. Lavender can take up to three months to germinate and it needs to be very warm. So there's a chance that this may not work out, but I got this sent to me in a free gift, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Lastly, I'm going to do our native mountain mint. Now mint also takes a while to germinate and from what I've read, you want to put at least five seeds per plant that you would want to end up with. And they are tiny seeds. Supposed to be a hundred in here, but it does not look like it. Well, that's that. I got all of our seeds planted for the cold frame. Our vegetable seeds are started inside in our sunroom. And now I'm going to water these and cover them up. So there you go, that is not only the construction of a cold frame here on the, on the mountain, but also how we're gonna utilize ours. I'm really excited about the mint because it's a native variety, and we're also gonna be doing essential oil. So look for that in the future. But in the meantime, I'd like to encourage y'all to turn on your notifications so you don't miss a single Steep in the Woods video. And uh, Hey, if you like what you saw, hit that button. If you're new to, new to the project, hit that other button. What we'll helps support the project? There are links below. Until next time, here, Steve in the Woods. Yay! Oh, well, P.S. Um, in bad weather and at night, cover it up with plastic. I almost forgot to put that uh, in there. You don't want rain getting on it too much, and that little bit of extra air gap between the the window and the plastic will add some R value. So. 
rain and night time. Cover it with plastic, weight it down with, with uh, rocks, and you'll be ready to rock and roll on your cold frame off-grid dang setup here. Yeah! yeah. <laughs>